Hi! I decided we could revisit Star Academy since the first playthrough didn't go very well and to spice it up a little bit I decided we could play as someone else so I asked on my Instagram and the answer was Kiyomi so that's who we're gonna be playing as which is interesting because I haven't seen her room yet I have seen Britney's but not Kiyomi's so okay yeah it looks <laughs> pretty much like I imagined it's pretty cool let me just show you guys a little bit all the details although I don't think there's much I can't interact with anything and I just want to try there was this bug in Lisa's room that yeah I could see to the other room and like I think it's because of the mirror so there's like a whole next room behind it and we just see not the reflection but like yeah you, you, you get me I suppose there's our little invitation. Headmaster Morris Bergen of Jorvik's Star Academy of Performing Arts cordially invites you to the annual audition for the class of next year. The audition will take place on Monday 22nd on Tuesday 23rd of May at the school by process of gradual elimination. The successful Candidates should be able to demonstrate considerable talent in and utmost dedication to the fine arts of singing, dancing and performing. I look forward to see you have what it takes. Sincerely yours, Maurice Bergen, Headmaster of Star Academy. So I was trying to skip the dialogue with Enter so that the mouse sounds wouldn't be as bothering. But I can't do that, yeah. Use the wardrobe. Um nice we have the same clothes as lisa i think i'll just keep the kiyomi's clothes i think i can buy these in star stable somewhere she has different bracelets that's it i guess yeah i'll just go for it so what's interesting about this English um, version. I was, I wasn't really sure whether it was like official or wasn't. But since I went on the, um, since I went on Hidden Entertainment's website, and I saw the English that they had, and in this game there are so many mistakes. So I'm suppose I suppose they translated it. But they didn't really correct it and they didn't release it in English and it was just there in the files. Welcome to the Star Academy auditions, Kiyomi. Your paperwork seems to be in order. I see that you have spent some serious time in front of the mirror before coming here, but looks alone won't get you far. Actually, I... <laughs> well, you need to be at your very best, singing and dancing like you've never done before to have the slightest chance to make it through the auditions. That is why we give everyone the possibility to polish their performance before the auditions. Go see Mrs. Graham in the music room or Miss Rita in the dance room and they will help you out. And I'll just show as much... Hello, Lisa. <laughs> That's weird to see her like as a third person. Like, uh, not the main character. Hi, my name is Lisa. I've just been to see Mrs. Graham to practice some scales and she really is an old spinster. Even worse than the rumors I'd heard before. I don't think she was even heard of Madonna or Christina Aguilera. You'll find her on the second floor. Good luck. And Brittany, hi. Hi Kiyomi, nice to meet you. I'm Brittany. Sorry if I sound a bit tired, but Miss Rita had just been working me so hard. I'm aching in muscles I don't even know I had. She is a bit of a drill surgeon, but don't let that scare you. She's in the dance room just across the hall. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, I don't know if you guys saw like uh, Eleanor's playthrough in which she perfectly described that playing this game as Lisa fits the, fits the most because um, like she does the singing and Kiyomi usually helps with the dancing so I don't know who will well help with the dancing now probably Lisa but like yeah 
What have we got here? You think that you are going to be able to dance in those clouds, girl? Let me tell you something, if you can pull that off, I'm gonna be impressed. And I'm not easily impressed. An elephant in the yard wouldn't have raising me so much as an eyebrow. I'm ready when you are. Bring it on, girl. Uh, did you know that this poster can be found in Star Stable in the theater in Jarlheim? I <laughs> Not this. I don't think that would be possible to put in SSO these days, but yeah, sure. Uh, she says the same. I sometimes click those um, exclamation points just because sometimes they say something else. Like in SSO, I usually do that. And it makes me wonder like how much of hidden dialogue there is that barely anyone reads. Noise and... That was it? Fabulous nerve for what you get through it, but you might have some rhythm running through your through your veins after all, girl. Now don't let this get to your head and be sure to get back here later for more practice, otherwise you'll land on your ass during the auditions. Trust me on that one, girl. If you've not been to see Mrs. Graham, it is time for that now, otherwise just wait in the school hall. Um. Yeah, <laughs> I just wonder if they are gonna add this school to SSO. I think it'll be pretty cool, since the Soul Riders are in the last year, I suppose, or something. And like, currently the story is taking place in like the end of August, and by the end of August in SSO we should get a quest where I suppose we might become like a citizen of Jorvik and we might move there because the name of the quest is something like Welcome Home Soul Rider. So yeah, I just wanted to throw that out. Welcome to auditions for next year's class at the Jorvik School of Performing Arts, young lady. But look at you, how are you dressed? Not that respectable to say the least. I don't understand what your parents were thinking letting you out of the house like that, but never mind. You are here to warm up before the first session of the auditions, are you not? Better get started then, hurry up now, there are others waiting, you know. Get up on that stage and we'll do some exercises. Cool. Look at the time, it's nine o'clock and you have to go. I want you to stay, but it's getting late, we both heard mommy say, boy, you better go now, time's running, Sandman's coming, don't put up a fight, time is up for tonight. Okay, I do like her voice, though. I wasn't that big of a fan of Britney's, but Kiyomi sings really good. Wow. Splendid, you might have some shred of talent after all, wouldn't have thought it when I saw you. You are indeed a diamond in the rough. Not the roughest diamond I have seen, mind you, but close enough. If you've not been to see Miss Graham, I would recommend you do that now, otherwise just wait in the school hall. Now off you go. Bye. Um. Attention all, attention all, this is Mr. Grimm speaking. The revered Morris Bergen, headmaster of Star Academy, will soon be making his welcome address to the participants in the audition for next year's class. Please make your way to the school auditorium immediately. I repeat, please make your way to the school auditorium immediately. The welcome speech, I just want to go through this. I usually have like the temptation to go through all of the things that are in the game to discover and it's interesting because when you play as Lisa, it's Brittany oh, yeah. here, but yeah, okay, cool. Sure, I'm Lisa by the way, don't we, didn't we meet before the, in the corridor? Sit down. This is going to be really exciting, isn't it? I can't wait to get up on stage myself and do my first audition. Uh, what's interesting is that even in the newest books, uh, Lisa mm -hmm. is attending 
an academy or like applying to an arts academy. Welcome everyone, I'm glad to see so many of you here today. Unfortunately, not all of you will be here when this is over. The Jorik Academy of Performing Arts is a school to which a few are called and even fewer are chosen. We pr pride ourselves by selecting only the very finest, most extraordinarily really gifted young men and women to attend the school. Over the years, we have graduated dozens of world-class pianists, platinum-selling rock stars and opera virtuoses. If you are selected, you will receive the tutoring of myself, Ms. Rita, Mrs. Graham and Mr. Grimm to develop your talents to perfection. Those of you are not admitted, do not consider this a failure, consider it an honor to have been chosen to come here and participate in these auditions. We sure ha are honored to have had you. Now we, the jury, are going to prepare ourselves for the first round of eliminations. Don't forget to bring the song you have chosen to perform with you, either on tape or as note sheets. We will contact you when it is your turn. Let's have a nice and fair audition. Good luck! Oh, the Jorvik Academy of Performing Arts, I think this is how it's called in the Jorvik Calling book as well. So that's pretty cool. I thought they changed it from Star Academy, but yeah. You have realized that you don't have a song to perform at the audition. There is no time to go home and get a tape, so you must find someone at the school that can help you. That's totally Hello. gonna be Lilith, the loser. I think you'd better get right back home to mommy and cry your heart out. Don't think that I'm gonna help you. One down, as they say, one down. What about you, dude? Hey, there are Oops, dying. that's not good news. Not good at all. They are really strict about these things, you know. Perhaps you should try talking to Kevin. He's in my class and kind of musical genius. I know that he's trying out for Star Academy this year. He might be able to help. Oh, in the comics, um, Kevin and Kiyomi are, I suppose, like at least good friends. And yeah, Kevin seems to be hitting on Kiyomi, so this will be pretty fitting. But yeah, I saw... Uh, the Theory Times version of the book and she used some scenes from this school and seeing the store writers here was just like yeah please I want to have quests with them here like the updated it. ones in SSO what you forgot to bring a song that's not really very smart is it but we all make mistakes and I suppose you wouldn't be here unless you were quite good you know what I think I might have the exact right song for you but I don't have it recorded we could have that we could have done it in the studio, but I don't have the keys to the control room, so I, I... yeah. Oh, that control room. So we'll have to do it the old-fashioned way. Why don't you go find a, old, a tape recorder and meet me at your music room and I'll make you a tape... And I'll make you a tape using the keyboard they've got there. It's not the hottest one around, but it will have to do. See you there in a bit. Uh, it was on the bench downstairs, if I'm not mistaken. In order for Kevin to be able to give you a song that you can perform... Yeah, I now get... No, I don't. I thought the don't have the time was in this episode. Which would make sense, wouldn't it? Okay. <laughs> Try the library. Oh, right. What does Lisa have to say? Sorry to hear that. Good news, Kevin is helping you. He's a real stand-up guy and extremely talented at that. But try the library, you might find one there. At Lance. I forgot what he said. What are you still doing here? Last I heard you were on your way home crying like a baby. Get out of my face, you geek. Mm. That was probably just... Lilith. You picked up the tape recorder and we will be coming back for the CD, wouldn't won't we? Or am I just dumb? <laughs> hmm. It's pretty cool how the Starshine Legacy and Star Academy both use this school. Wait, music room, sorry. And disco. Uh, these days I noticed that there are a lot of posters in Star Stable Online of him as well. Like I found some in Jarlheim. Here um, near like one of the hairdress shops I think. Great, I knew you could do it. Well it wasn't that hard was it? Now let's just hope that you sing with the same dedication that you go looking for tape recorders. Let me know when you are ready to get started. Let's go. 
You're ready? Okay, if you just get on the stage, I'll connect my keyboard to the tape recorder so that I can teach you the song at the same time as we make the tape. Since I'm plugging straight into the tape recorder, your song would be on the tape, so it will be perfectly fine to use at the auditorium. So just get onto the stage, I'm ready whenever you are. Something else? <laughs> First try. Okay. No, we'll have to... Oh, that's... See, that's a mistake. I just like to explore stuff. Fun. Things like this. For example, I was playing Star Stable Online from the beginning again. And... Uh, I was doing the quests with Boney. And I don't know if you remember, but Bo Boney ran away from Subtle Rocklight Village. And... Uh, she was hiding in the silo and in order to get her back to Silverglade you had to put her in a... how's it called? in a sack and the sack had a description of Sabine <laughs> like... yeah Nice. Not bad, not bad at all. I guess my first impression was right after all. You've got quite an amazing voice. Let's hope the jury agrees with me. Here's the tape for the audition. Don't lose it because I don't have time to do this again. See you soon. Hopefully we'll be classmates at Star Academy in the fall. Hello? Is that Kiyomiya? This is Mr. Grimp. Where are you? You have been paging you through the PA system for the last 10 minutes. The jury is ready for your first performance. Head down to the auditorium and report to Morris Bergen immediately or we'll have to cut you from the schedule. Yeah, see in like the Polish playthrough, I thought they already did cut me through a lot or like cut me off. So yeah. It's interesting to hear Kiyomi. I think I will record all of her final performances. So with Britney, but yeah. Hmm. Welcome Kiyomi, a little late, aren't we? I know that very few pop stars are known for their punctuality, but some of the members of the jury find tardiness an extreme flaw, and I'm afraid that that might cloud their judgment of your performance. But don't let that stress you. Yeah, sure, no, no worries. If you are meant to be a st at Star Academy, fate will see through this, trust me. Just give your tape to Mr. Grimp, we are ready when you are. Passing on the tape. Um... So you made it, good. I'll just put the tape into the stereo. I'll start it as soon as you get up on the stage. Um, cool. like a really cute voice and it's interesting I think Eleanor Nightwalker said that it isn't stated anywhere in the credits who sang these characters oh no oh I'm sorry <laughs> I thought it bugged hello they aren't gonna tell me anything. Okay, sure. Bye. <laughs> oh, there's... Hello? 
Attention, attention, this is Mr. Grimm speaking. The first audition sessions are now at the end and we break for lunch. The afternoon sessions will begin at 2 o'clock. Please check your slot in the afternoon's audition schedule with me at the reception. Oh, I see. And this goes bugged again. Hi. Pooh, this is going to take forever, don't you think, Kiyomi? Just look at this line. I hope that I don't get an early slot. I would really like to have the time to get down to the mall and do some shopping. I'd hate to do it af to do the afternoon session in the same clothes. It would feel so lame, don't you think? Yeah, this kind of fits Britney. Better. Excuse me, ladies, I couldn't avoid overhearing your conversation and can't stress enough how glad I would be to help you out. Pretty girls deserve to look good at audition, even though I'm not sure you can improve what's perfect. This kind of collides with what you said before, but yeah. Why don't you give me your names and phone numbers and I'll text you the times for your audition. I'm Lance Band, by the way. That sounds great, don't you think, Yomi? Let's go down to the mall and do some serious shopping. I just need to run past my house to tell mom and dad that I made the first cut. See you at the mall. Oh no, but your mom. <laughs> and you are already in your week, which... Well, I found a plot hole. <laughs> oh boy. So, some serious shopping, you say. There you are. Mom and Dad were so excited when I told them that I made it through this first selection. I really need to find some nice few things to wear. Let's meet at the cafe opposite the stage when we're done. I think her mom died when she was like 12 and... <laughs> yeah, talking with the spirits. I see. And let's just... I want to buy the Miss Crean's t-shirt. I... I have been digging their songs lately a lot, so that's what we're gonna get. And there are... Let's just go Lisa style. <laughs> hmm. Is it bad to want to... Yeah, I'll, I'll give her her pants. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think this looks pretty okay. Yeah, I can live with that. <laughs> hey! Hi Kiyomi, that smile on your face tells me you found some something you're really, really pleased with. Good for you! Well, I'm heading home to grab a quick shower and freshen up a bit before my audition. Good luck to you all! This is so exciting! Hi there! I'm glad to hear that you made it through the first cut. You deserved it! No, I'm sure it had nothing to do with me, but I'm glad that you liked the song. Why the way? I have some new ideas for th for it that I've been working on in the studio. Mr. Grimm planted me the keys after my first audition. It would be great if you could come meet me back at the music room and try them out. See if you like them. You know, it's never bad to change your performance a bit for the second audition. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Kevin wrote my song a while back, so I'm well, quite well prepared. You know, me and Kevin, we jam together quite a lot, plenty of night, late nights at the studio. You know what, why don't you meet me down at the dance room and we can work on a routine for your intro. It's important to catch the jury from the first beat and having known Kevin quite a long time, not in the biblical, biblical sense perhaps, even if he might have wished to, I guess there's a fairly long instrumental intro. Yeah, this would fit better if I played as Lisa and Kiyomi knew Kevin for a long time, as in the comics. Hi Kiyomi, hope the shopping haul was great. The slot for your audition is 6.45 p.m. Good luck, Lance. That's a bit too late, don't you think? Hmm. Audition time. Cool. Prepare for battle, meet Kiyomi. I'm, I mean, but Britney, I'm just so used to dancing with Kiyomi. Kevin has invited you to the music room. Meet him there. Nice. Uh, yeah, I'll just keep it. So it doesn't matter, really.
I wonder if I can go to the auditorium first. <laughs> hey, I'm here early. No one's here. I think I found another plot hole. So, hi. Um, is there something to see in the room? I suppose not. There you are. I thought that you'd never show up. It wouldn't be the first time a cool girl stood me up, <laughs> but you're here and that's what counts. If you get on the stage, I'll show you what I thought we would do. Don't forget to remind me to burn a CD with the music for you afterwards. Burn a CD? <laughs> Can we talk about the fact that black people deserve more hairstyles in the game? Like, what do we have? Two dreads? <laughs> Okay, I'm really digging her voice and her version of the song, so expect a um, final performance or like a compilation in a few days, hopefully. Lovely. A cutscene. Oh, sorry, I didn't expect to find you two lovebirds here. Pretty as a picture in pastel pathetic. <laughs> I'll, I forget this was here. I'll leave you two to practice in your honey dripping pop pickerels. Wrong way. Are you okay? She disappeared. That's a shame. Imagine her walking to the wall. That was great. I get this tingling sensation down my spine when I hear you sing. And look at the hairs on my arm. They salute you. Here's the CD. I've got to hurry off to my audition now, but if you want to stay and rehearse, here's the key. I'll tell Mr. Grimm that you're okay. Don't forget to lock up when you leave and drop the key in my locker. It is number XX. I believe they forgot to change it because I think it is 47. Practice. We so we gotta practice, okay.
So far, no mistake. <laughs> Very cool. Return the key to the locker. 57, okay. Prepare for the bottle with Brittany in the dance room and then when the alarm goes off. Hmm. Okay, 57. It's like there's still a line, I should still have a lot of time. I don't get what the issue was. And this is still pretty cool to me, like the dinosaurs. Because Hidden Entertainment was called Hidden Dinosaur before, right? Lolo? Hey girl, time to shake those hips a bit. I just passed the second cat, so I'm full of energy and ready to help you do it too. Are you ready? Let's get down and dirty. Show those lame elderly people on the jury that you've got serious rhythm. Get up to that mirror and follow my lead. She has no chill. I still think having this mini game in Star Stable Online's Fort Pinta Disco would be pretty cool. <laughs> and I will keep suggesting it to SSO. I'm sorry. Time to go to audition. Suddenly, there is nobody, I guess. I suppose. Oh, of course. And that's cool. Is any of this readable? I don't think so. Auditions closed. We have now finished the first day of the auditions for next year's class. A big congratulations to those who, few who made it. You know who you are. For those who didn't make it, don't be ashamed. You did your best and that is all that counts. If you practice hard, you might make it next year. Morris Bergen. Oh, damn it. Panic attack. You must find a way to get a new audition. You have missed your audition time. It seems that Lance sent you the wrong time. What? I'm sure Lance did that on purpose. He's such a bully and a rotten bastard. He's stolen all girlfriends I've had. I have no idea where they went. But I'm gonna head down to Leonardo's for a choco in Sunday Deluxe. You wanna come? We can trade cherries. No, some other time then. What kind of suggestion is that? <laughs> Oh boy. But they are in Leonardo's anyway, so we could have gone on a date, wow. I'm sorry to hear that you missed your audition slot, but the auditorium's been closed for quite a while. We were there just like two minutes before that, but yeah. I heard Mr. Grimm's Grimm mention to a Morris Bergen that he was craving for a double jumbo bacon cheese tower burger with extra pickles. Mrs. Graham and Miss Rita seemed happy to join as well, but I'm not sure why. No one has ever seen Miss Rita eat. <laughs> Scary, isn't it? That burger was so oddly specific, I remember la laughing at it when I saw it in Eleanor Nightwalker. Wait, that's Lisa? What does she have to say? Hello. I'm in. You hear what? If they gone to eat, I'm sure they've gone to Leonardo's. Let's get down there and check it out. If they are there, we'll have to find a way to persuade Leonardo to get us on the stage and make that audition Lance cheated us out of. If the rumors are true, it wouldn't be the first time he cheated on someone either. Let's not give him the pleasure on cheating on us. 
the hungry jury. You must go to Leonardo's, find the jury members and talk them into giving you a second chance. Nice. I'm glad they added Leonardo's. And we get to explore the surroundings as well. That was pretty cool. So. Hey guys, um... I yeah, I gotta go. You know what, girl? It is great that you have a new dance routine, but it really is enough to me. You have to talk to all of these three first. You've made a habit out of this, haven't you? Always running late. <laughs> well, no, don't have the time. As long as you don't hit any high notes that upset my stomach, I'll be fine, but it really isn't up to me. You had quite a voice. Disappointing that you can't keep your appointments. I'm not much for second chances. You had a golden opportunity and made a mess of yourself. You should be home and ashamed, not humiliating yourself by coming here. A lady doesn't cry and I can definitely see tears in your eyes. You are brutal, lady. If you... what to say is true, I think it is terrible, but I'm sure that Lance didn't do it on purpose. You sure about that? We should all be able to trust and rely on each other here at Star Academy. I see us as one big family. I can't see any harm in giving us, you a second chance if you can talk to Leonardo into letting you take the stage. But trust me when I say these kids will be a harder crowd to please than us. If you... kids? Yeah, there's quite a few of them. If you can win their support, you can continue our audition tomorrow morning. Oh, I see. And I... I had no idea I could... I can jump! <laughs> I had no idea I could jump in Star Academy. Okay, cool. Wait, can I... What? Wait. Okay, I'll, I'll stop. I'm sorry. Can I... Oh my god, I can. Hello. <laughs> Don't mind me. You're interested in performing? Yes, we do offer opportunities for Star Academy students that want to make a little extra on the side, but normally not on Monday nights. But you know what? I'll make an ex exception today, but you don't get paid for the first time, okay? I just... Yeet! <laughs> it's not even that funny. Okay, in the spotlight. Um, the second song, spoiler. Did they like spoil, don't have the time and spotlights and everything? I wonder who will be able to jump in SSO once they update the characters. Because just today they released some information about it. That we can suggest what we want our characters to do. And I think they said something about jumping. So that'd be pretty cool. Well, I didn't really win the crowd, did I? <laughs> oh, Lisa creeping right there. 
Oh my god. Okay. Cool. Dawn of a new day. I like your cream catcher. Get down to school. It is also a good idea to change your clothes. You know what I'm not gonna do? Exactly what you told me to. Or Remember that every time you get a new star, new clothes can be chosen from the shops. Uh, when do I get new stars? After a new day? Attention all, attention all. This is Mr. Grimm speaking. I have bad news and bad news. Sh shouldn't there be like... Oh. Last night, someone stole a lot of very expensive equipment from the studio in the music room, rendering it useless. The deed was performed by someone who knew the alarm codes and had access to the key. We at Star Academy hope that we together can find the missing items as well as those who did this. Until the equipment is returned, the music room will be locked and accessible only to students accompanied by a teacher. For those of you who are interested in knowing more about today's auditions, please see Morris Bergen in the auditorium over and out. Find the stolen items and bring them back. And see Morris Bergen in the auditorium. Hey, it's no I... use, all my work, gone, just because... <laughs> are you okay, Disco? Just because some damn stupid idiot decided to break into the studio. And all, all the hard drives in there, they had to take mine. Why? 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 If I don't get it back, I can just skip the audition. I told you... <laughs> no! I told you it's no use, hopeless. I think I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. A sad song for Kevin. <laughs> it's in the trash can, don't worry about it. Yes, I... <laughs> You're stuck, Disco. You're not leading me anywhere. Oh my god, oh no. I found a bugger, guys. Mm -hmm. Hey, Amazing. you don't have to kill yourself. What, you found it? Amazing. I know I could count on you. Give it to me. I'm going to get started working on stuff for your audition straight away. I'll call you when I'm ready. See, if I didn't like, click on the uh, exclamation point before I clicked on the trash can, it just... W no one would ever know it's there. See Morris Bergen in the auditorium and find the stolen items. I... actually don't remember where those were, so I'll just... I guess I'll just go here. Yes, he's here, hello. It is terrible, isn't it? How can people be so selfish? I will never understand it. But the show must go on. The show must always go on. And speaking about shows, that was quite a performance you put on yesterday. I'm glad I decided to give you a second chance. But... I'm sorry. But today is going to be something. Graduates from Star Academy. They will be sated throughout the auditorium and they will be accepted... They will accept nothing but the very best. I also wanted to let you know that I spoke to Lance about the incident yesterday and he assured me that it was a mistake on his side. He seemed quite sad, to be honest with you. So in order to avoid similar accidents, he will will coach, call each performer well in advance to your audition. Because this is one audition that you can't afford to miss. Coolio. Um... Attention all, attention all, this is Mr. Grimm speaking. I have good news and good news. Cool. First of all, a big thank you to Lance and Lilith, who found the stolen goods and returned them to safety. Oh, that's why I don't remember. I promise you all that I will have the studio back up and running shortly. Over and out. Not asking where they got them. Hey, Brittany. Can you believe that? Lance and Lilith bringing back the equipment to the studio. I thought they were real assholes. Yes, but perhaps one shouldn't be too quick to judge people. Whatever. I was on my way down to the dance room to practice some street dancing. See you there in a few minutes and I'll show you some nasty moves. <laughs> oh my god. It's Britney, bitch.
and she literally has no chill when she has like this cue is position or whatever I should call it okay now we're here so let's get these bodies moving like when we've never done anything else get in front of that mirror and repeat after me no hidden quest text I just want to see if I can see myself but I guess it was just the roof or like yeah that allowed me to see it I wonder if we play with Britney, we see Lisa a lot. Wait, why, why did she have crying animation? <laughs> I'm confused. Did I bug the game again? Well, just say nothing and I'll leave. Oh, it's Lilith, right? Hey there, loser. I heard that retarded music you were dancing to. It really stings. But just to show you that I am better than you, I challenge you to a dance battle. Can I just uh, this word? I, I'm sorry, but it's not a swear word in Czech, so I just don't know what to think of it. Like when I saw Eleanor Nightwalker, she she didn't even say it, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm sorry, but we use that normally. It's I don't know. Meet me at the projects when you're ready. The loser must leave the auditions. Yes, <laughs> bread text. What even what even does it mean, bread text? I thought Nerdwell was on the other side of town. Let's get down. Step into the ring whenever you are ready. So yeah, the project. Oh, episode one, season three. Not many quests. Have passed, but yeah. This has happens in SSO so so often lately. Like the the code appears instead of the actual thing. For example, in the races, and one of the map markers, and they accidentally released some tag that had all of these code names too. like props to you if you are if you aren't skipping this <laughs> Beaten by a deadbeat, that really stinks. Shucks. 
I guess I will have to keep my part of the bargain and get out of the auditor audition. See you, retard. Okay. Bye. But then she comes crying to Mr. Bergen. Exciting. Hey everyone. Oh yeah, he's... Mm. Well, this call is not about what you think. I just got off the phone with a very upset Lilith who claimed that you forced her to quit the audition by challenging her in some ghetto dance competition. Let me tell you that we don't tolerate this kind of behavior at Star Academy and if you can't convince me that this is all some horrible misunderstanding, then you'll be the first student ever to be suspended before they even had the chance to start their education at Star Academy. Coolio. Wait, what does it say? Suspended by Brittany, who was with you when Lilith challenged you and bring her to Maurice Bergen so that she can convince him that this situation is a misunderstanding and you are let back into the audition. Why is this here? And whose is it? I wish things like this were readable. For example, that one book in Fripp's yeah. chamber is readable and it's amazing. See? She did what? I'm sorry, but I really can't help you. I've got to get home and make dinner for my family and has to be ready within an hour. Just order pizza. They will suspend me, man. The only thing I can... I can think of is that if you could help me get some hamburgers from Leonardo, yeah, my mother loves them, then I would have some time to go with you to see Morris. Mm, burgers saved my life. You must bring burgers from this apostrophe. Yeah. Uh, she won't have to cook and will have time to help you. Nice. Do you see... Oh, hello, Lisa. Okay. Don't leave me, don't leave me. I told you, like, I told you that the first time we don't pay anything and there is no use in performing now, but I am out of milk. I... I wasn't gonna perform. If you can get me some milk from the cafe in the mall, I'll give you a bag of my special burgers. The accidental milkmaid. Oh. Who are you, Jamie Olive Tree? Milk? Yeah, sure, we are a cafe, you know. But I don't think I could give you, give it to you for free. If you had some money to give me so that I could explain it to the manager, I'm sure it would be fine. Wait a minute, aren't you auditioning for Star Academy? I thought I saw you in the uh, go into the auditorium yesterday. Why don't you get up on the stage and sing? I'm sure people will give you enough change to pay for the milk in no time. I talked to the manager and he said that I would get fired if I gave you the milk for free. I'm sorry. Oh no, not milk. I'm sure you guys throw a lot of milk away when it's summer and you have less customers. Like my cafe does. Look at the time, it's nine o'clock and you have to go I want you to stay, but it's getting late We both heard mommy say, boy, you better go now Time's running, Sandman's coming Don't put up a fight, time is up for tonight We're together, lost forever Time is here and love is easy We're forever paired together Shine wherever we go We're together Lost forever Time is here and love is easy We're forever Paired together Shine wherever we go Let the flower of your soul Fly around and love will grow tonight Thanks You picked up the change I did It's Jorvik Schilling's icon isn't it? 
<laughs> Great, you know, you've got the most beautiful voice I've ever heard. Okay, bye. It's like listening to clouds. It's like the most subtle romantic feeling ever. Well, here's the milk you wanted. Please let me know if you want to go out sometime. You couldn't even pay for one milk carton. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello. Good work. Now you can all enjoy Leonardo's milkshake. By the gallon. It's healthy, you know. <laughs> Lots of protein and amino acids. There, here's the burgers. I've made them with extra cheese just for you. Thanks, they saved my life. Bring them to Brittany. Is this just like a default place to put the character that they don't need at the moment? And I have the burgers and ice cream back. Oh man. Hello. You did it. That's so great. What did you do in the meantime? Thanks. I'll meet you at the auditorium. I mean, you could have gone there in the meantime, right? Or you could have gone and get the burgers with me. But yeah. Hmm, there's quite a lot of people. Hello? Mm -hmm. Well, Brittany has convinced me. Seems it was yet another big misunderstanding. They seem to be haunting you. If I were you, I would be a bit more careful with how I expressed myself. We don't want trouble here at Star Academy. Now it is your turn. Get up on the stage and do your best. Remember, there is nothing wrong with failing if you've given it your very best. The third cut is the deepest. What a way to name it. shocked that I still haven't done any mistakes. I mean, it's been an hour. That was a lot of songs and I swear to God, <laughs> I promise if I make a mistake in the last one. But yeah, that was fantastic. When I heard that passion in your voice sleep out, seep out through the door to the auditorium, I knew they couldn't deny you a place among the final few. You took their breath away, Kiyomi, you really did. I'm really excited about this, but if you get to the same class together next year, wouldn't that be just sweet as honey pie? I'm going shopping again. Daddy promised me that he would buy me a new dress. Thanks, Carl. 
If I made it through the final round, why don't you meet me at the cafe in the mall a bit later? Kiyomi and Brittany. Poor Kevin. I'll text you when I'm done. Sure, I'm just gonna stop by my house with the lunch for my family. See you guys there. Kiyomi, I'm gonna run back to the studio and put a few magic for touches to the song so that the final performance of this audition will be one to remember. I'll give you a call when I'm ready and you can pop by and practice. Hmm, can everyone hear me? Hello, this is Moritz Bergen speaking, headmaster of the Star Academy. I would just like to take this opportunity to congratulate those fine singers, dancers and musicians, bright stars of the future that have passed the third round of elimination for the next year's class. Now there is only one obstacle remaining, the one we like to call the needle's eye. Many fine students have gotten this far, but it is only the truly brilliant that make it through the needle's eye. As earlier, we will call you when it is your time for the final performance. Coffee and cookies. Meet Lisa at the cafe at the mall when she texts you that she has finished shopping with her dad. Oh boy. Just imagine her going shopping with Carl. <laughs> Hello. Uh, who let the dog out? Follow this code to see what he wants. I honestly don't remember. Was it the one of the lockers? Let me see. Oh, it's Lilith? Yeah. Cool. Woof. Yeah, I I was gonna go come here. What's up, lady? Yep. Woof woof. Shut up, you filthy mutt. And look at you, Kiyomi. One stray dog following another. Get lost. She dropped a key. Hmm. Hey. Thank you. You picked up the studio key. A key that unlocks a mystery. Find a teacher and tell him or her about the key to the studio that fell out of Lilith's locker. I think it was her pocket. Cool. And there's a guy. I think we went to Mrs. Rita. Right? Hmm. So you say that you found that Lilith dropped this key to the studio. I'm not sure if I would make anything of that. And regardless, it's not my table, girl. Go see Mr. Grimm. He's down at Leonardo's having lunch. I'm sure he'll know what to do. Lunch interrupted. Hmm. And what was this? Yeah, meet Lisa then. I didn't mean to click it, <laughs> but like, is Lisa here? No. Oh, that, that was interesting. There was um, the Stillwater, Mr. Stillwater. Mm. I didn't notice before. What? You say that Lilith dropped a key to the studio. If I find it strange, given that she was the one that found the stolen goods earlier, no, since I gave her a key to the studio as a token of the school's appreciation watch for what she did. What do you mean she might have to? I'm changing numbers on hers and Kevin's locker. Oh. Yeah, she did, but yeah. I'm not sure that I follow, but if you insist, I'll meet you at Kevin's locker, Luker, to check for the key if you say that she took. I always forget that we get to jump. This looks really cool. I thought it was like moving water in there at first. But yeah. Proof or spoof? School. Yeah, I think the whole row of numbers was changed, so 
that's, that's just weird. Why would you change numbers? Like, it doesn't prove anything. If you open the locker, there would still be stuff of each of the people. We're just gonna wait, I guess. <laughs> oh, hello. I'm sorry. What? When did you appear here? Hmm. So let's see. The, the key fell down. I'll open both lockers, and I guess that settles it. Hmm. Here's the key you thought was missing. Guess you should invest in a pair of glasses. I or you? From. You shouldn't go around accusing people. <laughs> and to be honest, I've heard that you've been after Lilith during the entire day. I don't tolerate that kind of behavior. Stop it or you'll end up at the wrong end of my drumstick. Mm. Ma'am. Hey you, got sexed up waiting for you at cafe. Guys are going crazy over me. LOL, see you. <laughs> No one, Lisa in 205. So, oh, hi darling, got, dad got me the, this cutest I... Yeah, it's cute. I just want to hug it. The guys at school will go crazy over it. I look just like Cindy in it. Hi there, back again. I really liked your performance earlier this morning. I'm getting off in a few minutes. You wouldn't like to meet at Leonardo's for a shake? She totally would. She'll meet you there. Oh my god. Why did you do that? No. Do you want to say? Yes. Date. Meet the guy that works at the cafe at the mall at Leonardo's for a date. Oh, that's the boyfriend's section on on their advertisements for Star Academy. I see. Hi there. Ready for a milkshake? I took the liberty of ordering vanilla for for us both. That's not advanced enough for you. Oh. I would recommend the banana cookie dough crunch with mint flakes. Okay, we'll have two of those then. <laughs> That'll be ten dollars then. Sure, just a second. Oops. Seems I forgot my wallet at home. How embarrassing. I'm afraid that I can't give any free drinks. But if Kiyomi would do a little afternoon dance routine to lighten up the mood in here, I'd be happy to treat you both to a Mona Lisa specials. What do you say? What do you say, Kiyomi? Late saver. Sure. From street dance. This is extremely embarrassing for me, but it is really kind of you to do the dance. I just... Oh, what does Leonardo want to say? I will get there. I, I know I can talk from behind the counter, but not so fast. I think we had an agreement. Get up on the stage for me and make my clients happy. Oh, wait, wait, what? <laughs> I didn't expect to. Yeah. Let's go. Oh my god, no. Oh my god, I don't have the time. I don't have time for this. <laughs> Why did I come here anyway? Yes. You guys have like same face syndrome a little bit. Just saying. Oh and this is exactly how it looks like. I have a photo of me sitting here that I would like to post on my Instagram. So wait hey, let me just let me take a picture in here.
so weird how Britney is teaching the dance moves. Yeah. Wasn't it supposed to like lighten up the mood? But if you look at the lightning, wouldn't the people like go a little crazy in there? Very nice. Now, Z Milk Cheeks. Mm. Wow, you girls really know how to dance. In my days, that kind of performance would have gotten anyone grounded for a month. <laughs> Here are your Mona Lisa specials. Enjoy. When you're. You'll both have mystical smile on your lips. I guess it's scrumptious. Hello? Hi, it's me, Kev. Just wanted to let you know that the song is done now. That last performance you really, you did really inspired me, but we've got a little problem. There are no CDs here and I don't want to leave the studio in case something happens. Do you think that you could bring an empty CD? It was in the library, right? Kevin calling. <laughs> You're recalling. Find the CD and meet Kevin in the music room. The CD was in library. I'm just going to click those people because I want to see what they have to say. There's usual CD in the library. And you, girl? Hmm, I'm not sure, but I remember I got assistance in the library once. Okay, bye. Yep, and this last thing. The cassettes, we don't need those. What does it say? Demo. Oh, demo tape. The music room. I think there are only two last performances in front of us. Hello? Oh, nice! Then let's get ready to take off. Get in position and I'll show you how this should be done. Dress rehearsal. Dress?
like maximum. <laughs> cool. Oh boy, phew, I don't know what to say, that was just, just, whatever, here's the CD, good luck. It would be an honor to be in the same class as you next year. Yes, cool, we would make a cool band. Hello Kiyomi, it is time for your audition, we are waiting for you in the auditorium. Let's go. Through the needle sigh. Is this like the very last performance? think so. Score 40,000 points when performing in the auditorium to make the final cut and be accepted at the Star mm. Academy. I believe in you, give it a try. I'm sure that you'll make it in this time. I'm sure you'll make it this time. The music is strong in you, I can sense it. Let's go. Hey Lisa. Okay, I didn't expect to make no mistakes, but I wasn't a surprise. Nice. I don't know what to say, that was remarkable. For such a young girl you have a very mature voice. Welcome to Star Academy, Kiyomi. I got accepted too, isn't it amazing? Me too, this is going to be so fab. Us in the same class next year. And me too. You can all be proud of yourselves. Together with Lance and Lilith, you have been the strongest talent we've seen in a long, long time. This is going to be one very interesting year. See you in the fall. I just wonder... <laughs> those question marks. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> no. I just wonder how Lance and Lilith perform, like, didn't they just dance in the other games? <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for checking out this game with me. 
if you would like to play it I will link it in the description once again and I'll see you around! Bye! He's stolen all girl, all girl friend. He's stolen all girl. <laughs>